everyone and thanks for joining us today and in today's vlog we are going to be pretty much organizing our horse box we have lots and lots of necessities i was going to say bare necessities but we have lots of things that you need to pretty much live on and we are going to a stay away show with one of the ponies in a couple days time and I am super super excited and we've well I'm just gonna start by showing you all what we've got because we do have pretty much no living stuff in here and we need to get it all ready for our stay away show because otherwise if we have no lights then it's gonna be pretty dark but this isn't actually everything we've got two humongous bags down there of stuff that we need to also put in here and we're going to be organizing it all today and making it pretty much a tiny weenie home my mum has been very busy on amazon um ordering camping stuff but i think she went a bit over the top mum you're behind the camera <laughs> you've ordered way too much stuff i went camping with my school and I got a massive back, she made me bring a massive backpack full. I had to bring two towels and I only had one shower. So we have got lanterns here and they open like this, which kind of gives, gives me like vintage vibes where like the old, in like the olden days where they used to like go around the houses like this. So I've got this very, very cute, tiny and quite adorable little first aid kit. And it's, we actually bought this plastic thing in Dubai, <laughs> little bit of thing where it came from. So next up we have, well, we've got a bit of a pastel theme going on. We've got some cleaning spray. We've got a hoover, which I don't, when I first saw this, I was like, what is this? But yeah, we've got some pastel mugs. Um, and also, mum, don't, mum, you don't drink coffee, do you? No, no. So there's gonna be hot chocolate powder going in here. Okay. And they're stackable. Yep, yeah, they're they stackable. Stack on top of each other. And it's also a good way to keep like any flies or bugs. Oh yeah, speaking of flies or bugs, we've got this umbrella thing, umbrella mesh thing. It wouldn't do that good to keep you dry in the rain, um, but it's something to keep your food bug free, which is kind of quite cool. <laughs> you could be like a beekeeper. Yeah, I, I found that in Waitrose. Of course. Good old Waitrose. Oh, you've got some mesh bags. Are these for like the laundry? So I just, you can just never ever have enough bags and they were pastel and they were cute. So one's pink. <laughs> and one's purple. We've also got some pastel tea towels. I hope you're starting to get the vibe that everything's going to be pastel in this horse box organized. We've got some pastel tea towels. What are these? Let me move all of this off the table. Then I can open up the bags and show you what's inside them. Pastel tea towels, of course. They're actually quite nice tea towels as well. Just to like soak up any spillages or bags that aren't really for anything. I want to use some, one as laundry bag. So we've got a pink towel in case we have to have a shower at a stay away show or anything. It's nice and soft. So we've got some storage crates to put some things, you know, bits and bobs in here that we don't just really want lying around in case we like I lose think, them. I think you can stack them as well. Yeah. We need to set them up. We'll do that in, when we put everything away in a minute. We've got one of these because we're going to be using quite a lot of water to clean dishes, wash our hands. Um, so we've we already got two of these in around the other side of the horse box, we, but we've already got two of these and they're, they're filled quite up. They're good size, they're not too heavy. Yeah, they're not too heavy already, like it's pretty light already. So when it's filled up all the way to the brim with water, it's still gonna be fairly light. Oh yeah, we saw this at Badminton and it was absolutely amazing. It's also nice and long as well for Cloudy. So it's a mint coloured hay net, which is almost impossible to find. We were just walking around Badminton and then mum was like, oh, Oh my gosh, that's a mint hay net. Harlow, I'm going in there now. And you, I she, love your impression, Harlow. <laughs> they sadly only had one, so we could only get one, not two. But I guess if we went on their website, we could probably order or pre-order one. Um, but yeah, that was such, such a lucky find. We've got some pastel camping picnic plates. They are plastic, but they are reusable. We're trying to go with the reusable thing here. We've got, 
like a towel to put over a pillow or something. That's what I use them for if I've got wet hair when I go to bed. Um, we've got kind of like Ziploc bags to put, again, bits and bobs in them. They're not pastel, but I mean, some of them are like the pink is, the purple is kind of, um, but they're rainbow, which is still really fun. Um, we've got, uh, what is this? Oh, like a bed throw. Oh yeah, a blanket. Yep, a blanket in case anyone's cold whilst we're eating, or like just as a bed throw for someone's bed. And, and it matched the horse box. Yep, and it also matched the horse box, which made mum, oh, I nearly fell off the chair, which made mum want to buy it even more. We've got some bowls for cereal. Obviously they're pastel as well. And what's this? Camping, actually something that we do need to survive on. Um, we've got a camping pot. It's a kettle. Oh. Oh yeah, I see now. Little spout. Yep. That's for me. That is essential for hot chocolates and tea. Do you know what? I couldn't find a pastel one. A torch. Another torch. I don't think we need any more light things, Mum. <laughs> it's not like it's going to be pitch black. It is also summer, Mum. And by like nine o'clock, it's not even that dark. So I don't think we're going to need this many lights. <laughs> OK. We've got, we got this at Badminton. Oh yes, this is amazing. We haven't even used it yet. How do you no, know it's amazing? Well, no, they told us it's amazing. Oh. It's meant to be amazing. So when you take it out, it expands and um, you, you can use it wet or dry. So if the horses are dirty, um, you can just scrape all the muck off them, basically, or you can bath them with it. Yeah. Mm. So we've got one, We've got one in uh, the tap oh, room. Oh, charger. Oh, yes, and it's like my iPad charger. Yeah. Mum's using it for our cameras, I already know it, but when it's free, I'm using it for my iPad. Um, oh, more method cleaning products. Well, it's hand cleaning products. It's pastel. They're not pastel polos, Mum. They do pastel polos. Do they? They're like rainbow pastel. Yeah, but you can't give them to the horses. Yeah, they're fruity, rainbow ones. No, but they're, they're not minty. Are they? No, they're really sticky, you know. Right. Slicing thing. Chopping board. S chopping board. Quite close to the pastel. I'm going to give it a pass um, on the pastel thing. Um, two multi-purpose kitchen cloths. This one's pastel. This one's kind of pastel, but I'm going to give it a pass even more storage boxes oh my gosh we've got to put something got to put it all in everything harlow we've got some hand wash and more pink hand wash oh that one smells amazing harlow let what, me just show let watermelon me just show. and apple we've got washing up liquid it's in a strange shaped bottle but it's pink it's pink so it's past bin bags english breakfast tea bags Individually sealed foil. Wraps. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a pink one of this. Dishmatic. Let me see. It's pink. You've never seen that. That is awesome. Look how adorable this is. It is a pink washer up. I've never seen one of these. We've just got like a white and green one at home, but that is very cool. Biogradable baby wet wipes. And that is it for both the bags. So definitely what we're going to do to start with is organise all the cleaning products because we've actually got a lot more than I thought we did. Mum thought, no, Mum literally said this when she walked um, in the door one day after going shopping. She said, oh, I've just got a few cleaning products. So what I think we should do is put all of like the cutlery in one little box, then all the cleaning products in another box, and then all the lights in another little box, and then we yeah. can put it all in those little cupboards. Also to travel, we're not going to have these out in case they like knock over or yeah. leak. We want to pack it all away. So what we need to do is categorise everything and then we can put it away in the cupboards, yeah? Definitely. Also, I want to show you my bed. It's so comfortable. Mum ordered this like thick, for, okay, it's not this big, but it feels that big because it's like an infinity. I feel like I'm just going to slowly sink down into the ground. But it's like this thick and it's a foam mat and it's so comfortable. 
Why didn't you buy me that for my camping year five trip, Mum? It's you so allowed comfortable. To take anything like that. I know they were so strict on what I had to take. They were like, "Okay, you have to only take essentials." If Mum went to my school and took this much stuff, they'd be like, "On the day when they were about Harlow's to leave, Harlow's not allowed to come." <laughs> No, if mum made me bring all this, they'd be like, oh no, this child's over the top. No, <laughs> the parent is out of control. Too much stuff. But yeah, we need to start getting this all done. Um, because otherwise it's starting to get a bit dark. I'm going to start with the, these little storage crates and I'm going to put all the like hand wash method stuff in there. I don't actually know how these pop up. Mum normally does all this. It's actually really cute. I thought it was not going to be a... I thought it was going to be like really like scratchy, but it's actually not. It's really... it's nice. Not me putting... I feel like uh, the pink girl in like... Oh no, I feel like the girl from Mean Girls. On Wednesdays, order everything pink. Have you seen Mean Girls? No, but Nanny says, on Wednesdays, wear pink. <laughs> Nanny doesn't say that. Yes, yeah, she does. She said it to me before. <laughs> so this is what I have done so far. Um, Mummy has been chatting away and I have been doing all the organising. So I have done quite a lot, I think. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've done six boxes, but I'm going to show you what's in this one so far. Soap, well, washing up liquid, um, surface spray, two hand soaps, and then this. Next box, we have all of our surface wipes and our wet wipes. It's quite handy to have these in the horse box because these are the surface wipes. I think these are as well. Yeah, they're surface wipes, and then we've just got two, you know, hand wipes. Um, but then we've got, and here we've got the toilet paper. Oh yeah, I'll show you our toilet. It's very, very fancy, prepare yourself. <laughs> Look, it's a porta potty Oh, I'm a bit stuck here, wait. We have our toilet, which we actually need to put toilet flusher in. Yeah, I forgot to order that. So let me show you inside our toilet. It's, Oh yeah, that might happen if I put the toilet seat down. Um, but yeah, you press this, or you twist it, I don't know, but it releases like a, it releases the toilet flusher, basically. And then in here you fill the toilet flusher up. We're gonna try and not use it, um, because it's a bit awkward and it's quite low down. But if we've got an emergency in the middle of the night where someone needs to go, we've got it then. Oh yeah, we've also got a dust brown and brush in there. So in here we've got pretty much our kitchen crate, we've got our chopping board here, um, we've got like a hot boiling thing, cooking thing. I'm going to try and put these tea towels in these boxes. If they don't fit then I'll just use two crates for them. Yep, so that's our tea towel boxes. And they're stackable, aren't they? Yeah, they're stackable. There we go. Perfect. Then we've got our cooking stuff in here. Trying not to scratch it. We've got quite a lot of lights, I must say. But yeah, decorate our crib with these, just random lights. We've got our kitchen roll. I don't really know what to do with this, because... That's fine. Should I, yeah. start putting it, should I start putting it away? In I'll, the... I'll, I'll do that. Oh, you want to do it? Okay. Yeah. If you would like to pass me the mum, we've just discovered some more cups. Oh my gosh. Mum, what have you been ordering behind my back? Okay, we've got random cup. Is that for granddad? Is that think, one for granddad? I think so. Has it got tools on it? Yeah. And then this one. Magic Mum Day, this one's for you, Mum. Yep. Let me you get, see you get it. the school one. Let me see it. Just another manic Mum Day. That's how it usually goes. <laughs> so we've just got a tad too much medical stuff and we're just going to transfer some of this into here. Um, like scissors, dressing, 
this thing. Um, half of the stuff in here, I don't actually know what it is. Yes, brilliant. So this is our first aid kit all done. And this is actually now empty, so. So I'm just putting the tea towel boxes in here. You can't stack that on because it's got cleaning products sticking out of it. But with the tea towel ones, I can stack. Okay, right, the moment of truth. Oh, it's a perfect fit. And there's still a bit of room as well. So it's not right next to each other. And we're gonna stack this. So this one is all done, we'll close that up. Then we're gonna put the bigger crates in here and we'll stack them. I mean, we might be able to get some small crates in there. So all your show stuff's in there, isn't it? All your hair, hair, like yep. pins and Can I, Oh yeah, I'll put that on under, like oh, that yeah. so it doesn't topple over. There, babe? I think we need to get as much in there as we can. We'll put the towels up here. It'll also give it a bit of support as well because there's like, glass in here as well. That looks a little bit messy, but... No one's going to see it apart from the whole of YouTube. <laughs> this is getting a bit... This is getting a little bit cluttered. Stay. Perfect. That's that cupboard done. So on the other side, we've got another cupboard actually quite a lot of storage in here so we've got the lights in here so now we are in the wardrobe and i need to try and get this out but it's really heavy so oh. this is where all of our clothes are going to be going when we go to a show they're going to be going on that rail um we've just got popcorn and cloudy's matching saddle pants here they're very, very cute. This is one of the ponies with hoods. Um, hat bag. And then tidy tack bag. Random hoof pick. So put that in the grooming box. Up the top there, we've got mine and my mum's Equidries. I'm just putting a spare blanket down there. So these are our beds. Wait, shall I put them out to check that they fit? Oh, yeah. And to see how they look in it? Yeah. So, Mum's gonna sleep in the living there, and then we've got carpet to go down on the floor, so it's a bit stinky. Well, what we're planning to do is put shavings all down, so if Cloudy does anything, um, we'll just scoop it out, and then we'll put the carpet, put the carpet down. down on top, and it's like a perfect fit, the carpet is, and then, um, yeah, put these beds out. And there's, uh, for the trip that we're going on in a few days' time, um, Harlow and Anastasia are going to sleep in the horse, but we could sleep in the living up here. But it would only fit one person, or two tiny yeah. people. It would just, no, it would only fit one person. And I actually thought that it would be better just to store all like bedding, sleeping bags, these beds, store it all up there because it's nice and clean and it's never going to get horsey up there because it's all locked away. Um, so I thought it would be better just to keep that for storage. And then, yeah, lots of people told me they actually sleep in their horse sections. Yeah. Our head would probably go this way and you can like store your drink or your phone or something in there. But it's pretty comfortable. Oh, well, I've actually bought the, the toppers, haven't I? Oh yeah. Oh, those foam things. Yes, please. Hello, come this way, Grandad's coming. So I've got, I've ordered two of them. Um, so you can easily get two in there, can't you? And we'll still have like a little walkway thing as well. Oh, that's good. And then we can always store like our shoes and everything up there as well, Mum. Yeah. You can see how thick it is, like even without me sitting on it. It's very comfortable. And then we've got to put all the bedding down. I've got like uh, a bed, cotton bed sheet to go on top. You've got a sleeping Wait, bag. I'm actually meant to sleep that way, hence why that's up yeah. a bit higher. Me... So, right, Harlow, let's get this all packed away. Hello. Come on, we're half the <laughs> no. You've got it all dirty, Harlow, with your boots. 
And I also didn't go for air beds because I read loads of reviews that they deflate after a couple of times. And I also thought it's going to be so hard work to keep, like, if we want to put Cloudy in there in the daytime, he's going to have a stable when we go to the show. But we want to put Cloudy in the horse box in the daytime, then it's going to be a nightmare to have this air bed and to keep taking, taking it, it out and I taking know. it. So this is why I went for these because they were a lot quicker to pack away. So I'm just going to give you a mini tour of what we have in the Luton. So we've got our foam mattresses here. We've got our chairs here. They're all four like laid down like that. We've got our table. We've got our carpet that we're going to put down there. Um, and then you can't see them, but in the back here, we've got our beds. We have been able to fit so much stuff up here, which is really handy. Um, and we've still got quite a lot of room. Like, we're also going to put all the bedding up there too, like our sleeping bags, um, pillows. pillows. Yeah. We also have these, and they are to put on the countertop to stop it scratching because it does get close. It hasn't scratched yet, I don't think, but it just gets close to scratching. Yeah, you put things so, on top. Yeah. And also a little steppy stool always comes in handy, um, whether we need to get anything down from the cupboards up above, or we need to get all of our living stuff in and out of back there. Um, also, it's just good, for, like if I need to mount Cloudy, or you know, just the essential things that you need for an equestrian lifestyle. <laughs> So now I need to put some of these wires into a bag. We've also got this big power unit thing. So my mum being a genius ordered this portable power bank and it means if we have a power cut on there, if we desperately need to charge anything up, like if my mum needs to charge her phone up, um, then we can, there's a USB, there's a, don't know what that name is, and there's like a big plug. And it's actually quite lightweight as well, which is going to be really good. Um, we've got some more chargers. We've got a black one. Um, we've got one of these. I don't know what they're called, but you've also got pastel pink uh, chargers, which are super cool. So I'm going to put all of the cables now in these little Ziploc bags. Shall I? Shall I undo? Shall yeah. I take it out of the packet? Yeah take out our pink pastel chargers. These are so cool. Oh, and there's three of them. So if you, me and Anastasia need to charge our phones, then we've got one each. So I think I'm gonna put all these charger chargers in there so they stay nice and safe. So, oh, there's another charger. We'll put this, this in there as well. So we're just gonna have all our chargers in one simple place. We'll keep this one there because it's mum's driving charger. Is there any other chargers in there? No. Right. There we go. So we've also got these rubber mat things down. So if we put anything down here like this, it's not going to slide around and make any noise because before if we like turned a corner that would move and it can't really move unless I shove it really hard. So lastly in the front, we have these car seat covers. It just saves uh, the, the horse box from getting all dirty and marked. We've also got a mat down here as well. So it just keeps it nice and clean. Um, but yeah. So that is it all done. Um, it took quite a long time, I must say, but it's good to know that we all had it done because it was just building up and up in our house. And I was like, why have we got so much cleaning products and stuff? We've still got to add lots of stuff, stuff that we need to take with us, but that's all just gonna go in the horse box, like clothes that we're gonna need, pajamas, basically. We'll just hang that up in there. Um, and pretty much everyone will have their own like, little section but I have had a lot of fun packing it all away today. It has been really, really fun. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super excited for the show now. We are hoping to vlog our stay away and we'll definitely show you our little crib 
Um, we'll show you where we're sleeping and everything because it's going to be uh, so much fun. I've been camping once with my school and I didn't take nearly as much as this. Um, but mum's never been camping and I've kind of learnt my lesson not to take that much stuff. But mum, I don't think you've ever been, you have never been camping. No. And I think you've gone a bit overboard. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm happy that we've got loads of stuff and we're prepared, but you might have just gone a teensy weensy bit overboard. It's just cute. It's all cute stuff. That's why we bought it. Yeah. So we don't actually need as much as that. I think, I think it's all going to come in handy, everything. We don't need that many tea towels, so. Yeah, but There's they're like all there. There's like 20 tea towels. <laughs> I'm not even joking. There are like five blue ones, five pink ones, five yellow ones, five purple ones. But thank you all so much for watching today's vlog. I mean, I'm quite tired now. Are you, Mum? Yeah. Yep. I think we're going to go home, get showered, get all ready. I think, well, we're not going to take any suitcases, are we? No. Okay. That will weigh us down even more, and I don't think we're going to have room for any suitcases. We might just take a couple of bags to put like our essentials in and everything. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching today's vlog, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!